Hi, I'm Austin Griffith, and I want to show tokensubscription.com. It was our hackathon project for the Wyoming Hackathon, and we just got back, and I've been hacking all weekend, so I am super tired. Hopefully I cover this correctly. Basically, it's a token subscription system. Uh, the publisher or uh, service provider deploys a contract uh, by setting the parameters, and then subscribers uh, sign those parameters and then allow tokens to flow. So let's go ahead and set up a contract that says the subscriber will send one die, a stable coin is really good for a long running transaction, every minute, and then we'll add a little gas price of five cents. So they're gonna send me a buck, and well, they're gonna send me 95 cents, right? They'll see basically a buck total, but 0 .5, 0 0.05 of that will go to the desktop miners. And let's explain how desktop miners works as this deploys. But before that, I'm gonna just crank that gas up just a little bit, you know, live demos and all. So uh, the meta transaction layer is really interesting here. The, there's kind of two tricks to make this uh, token subscription system work. And one of those tricks is the replay nonce within a meta transaction. So that basically means that a normal meta transaction or even transaction has a nonce that says you can't replay this transaction. Basically, once that transaction goes through once, it can never go through again, and they use a nonce to control that. It's just like a counter. Well, with um, this method, this method of uh, replay contract went through, you, you can submit it uh, multiple times after a certain period has passed. So basically this, the nonce um, is, is, a little, uh, is a little different. It, it allows you to replay the transaction on uh, an interval. Okay, so we set this up. So as soon as the contract starts to go out, the service provider can already be in here grabbing this, uh, this content and sharing it. So, so uh, he could like post on his website, put, put it in a publication, or, or just send a link off to another subscriber. So let's say this account over here is a subscriber. He's like, okay, I want to subscribe to this service that you put out. So he puts in that and he comes into tokensubscription.com. So your subscribers will come into tokensubscription.com and be presented with this very simple setup. Like you're going to send to this address, which was this yellow guy over here, uh, the token is die, the amount is one, and the recurring every is one minute. So, I mean, plain and simple, you're gonna send one die every one minute to, to this address. And you sign that with uh, an off-chain meta transaction saying that this is gonna replay on, on the interval that you said it will. And that goes to the meta transaction layer, right? And then those relayers, incentivized by that five cents that we added onto that, will resubmit this as it becomes valid, but it's not valid yet. This is the second part of the trick, and that's the ERC20 approve function. So basically, you can control the flow of the tokens from uh, this page here. This is where the subscriber can choose to pause or stop or start their subscription, and it'll take one, uh, one transaction on chain. Basically, they approve for DAI to flow through the contract. They, they trust the contract to push it through. And, and trust is a good thing to talk about here because there's no third party, right? There's no, um, there's no third party, party account that is handling these funds. Basically, it's just the contract that's handling the funds. And you can get in and look at the code and see like exactly how the contract works and kind of code is law, you can trust it, right? And, and speaking of that, like everything of ours is uh, open source. There's no revenue here for us. Like we're not making any money. So please get on and contribute and check it out and uh, uh, help out with the project if you want. So I think it looks like our approval just went through. Hopefully we should see some tokens get approved here. There we go. So now there are four tokens approved. And what that means is hopefully the meta transaction layer is going to kick in. So now those off-chain miners can see like, hey, this transaction is supposed to replay and they've approved. So now we can start sending these. So we should start seeing on the main net on the main net, this is kind of scary for me, we should see these tokens move from one account to the other on this subscription basis. I think it just went through right there. So now we're just waiting. And there was a block, maybe it'll be in the next block. Okay. So there's there's another model, and I, I want to demonstrate that too uh, before we go, and that would be the uh, I'll take anything I can get model. But I kind of want to see this go through first. As soon as that block gets mined, we'll see it go through. Let's start working over here. Okay, so let's set up another contract. So I'm going to start accepting tokens. 
and this time instead of accepting die, I'm going to say any. Basically, I will take whatever people send me, and I'm going to uh, put this on my website. Whoa, it looks like all four tokens went through. I don't know if I can explain why that worked. I'll have to check that out. Oh no, there it went. Okay, there we go. It says a four again. I was like, uh oh, this this is. There we go. There's three. Whew, whew. I need to go get some sleep, to be honest, but there we go. So that actually went through. So every minute now, uh, a die coin is going to move from one account to the other, and that's on the main net being orchestrated by a meta transaction layer. Okay, so now let's let's do this last part, and let's, do, uh, let's deploy a contract that will send any, and I'm going to post that up on my website, so then anybody could come along. So let's grab this. Anybody now can come along to uh, austingriffith.com. So here's my website. Oh, let's bring me along too. I want to go. What's up, dude? Okay, so I'm going to put me, put this in here, just along with uh, kind of my code here. I'm just going to copy and paste that code that was given to me by the website and go ahead and build and deploy and invalidate, and it'll ship up to my website. We can come back here in a little bit. Let's go back over to here okay and we should see hopefully maybe that uh, another token transfer through here as soon as another block mines so the the miners i'm, I'm going to slow the miners down probably and just to be safe for a while so if you're thinking about using this you can put your email address right in here and it'll it'll put that in so like we can kind of see it along the way but really if you're interested in this hit me up on twitter or email me or something let's like let's set it up just for you and make sure it works just for you and keep an eye on everything like this, this is a brand new thing. It's out on the main net. I mean, uh, I, I think I'm pretty good with Solidity, but let's uh, let's get some more eyes on it and get some some help from the community to make sure that we're solid here with, uh, with the whole setup. But the long and short of it is there's tokens. There's token subscriptions on the main net. You can start accepting tokens. There was the other one. Cool. Awesome. So anything, any kind of recurring payments that you're making with tokens, you can set it up where you deploy a contract and then have your subscribers come sign a little transaction and then approve a little, like an upper bound, and then it will just flow to you as those, uh, as that period goes through. So let's see. Let's see if AustinGriffith.com is, there it is. Now there's a nice little subscribe button. So anybody can now go to AustinGriffith.com and they can hit subscribe and i bet it takes you right into yep tokensubscription.com and there you go so now anybody can get in here and send me anything so uh yeah send me send me some of your junk coins <laughs> all right uh thanks a lot check out tokensubscription.com check out uh check out our repo uh hit me up on twitter uh, thanks a lot. We had a lot of fun at the Wyoming Hackathon. It was a, a super cool challenge, and we really enjoyed working on it. Thank you.